Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Um, okay. So what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, talking about people who talk about God with their knowledge. God willing. <laughs> so the reason I wanted to talk about this is because there's so many religions in the world and so many um, different beliefs. Um, people do this a lot. Um, and it's not like not just with they end up worshiping different entities and and so what they also um how they um when they talk about things and what they believe is very wrong so the reason i decided to talk about this is because um for example like i grew up in um growing up uh, as a catholic um I never uh, read the Bible in my younger years. Um, we had a Bible in the house. We never opened it. And yet we would go to Mass every Sunday, special occasions. And we would listen to the priest. And afterwards, uh, everybody would talk about something else. Um, if God was brought up and people talked about God, it was nothing that was from the scripture because nobody ever opened it. And that's just one example of many things that um, uh, uh, people, uh, how people talk about God without knowledge. So they, they conjecture or they, they talk uh, making you think it's from God. And how can you know anything is from um from God unless you verify it, unless you uh, have the knowledge to learn about it. So uh, what does God say about it? People use conjecture. And this is just one other example from uh, the Quran in 4.157. Crucifying the body of Jesus. And for claiming that they killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of God, in fact, they never killed him. They never crucified him. They were made to think that they did. All factions who are disputing in this matter are full of doubt concerning this issue. They possess no knowledge. They only conjecture for certain they never killed him. Um, and the footnote, Jesus, the real person, the soul, was raised in the same manner as in the death of any righteous person. Subsequently, his enemies are arrested, tortured, and crucified his living but empty uh, body. And um, so the majority of people on earth will use conjecture and they will lead you astray. 6.116. If you obey the majority of people on earth, they will divert you from the path of God. They follow only conjecture. They only guess. Now, sorry. People disbelieve in the hereafter. Um, they don't really know God, and this is uh, something that is one of the major problems. Um, they don't know who he is or why they are here. They have no vision due to blindness of the soul. Uh, 4524, they said, we only live this life. We live and die, the only, the, and only time causes our death. They have no sure knowledge about this. They only conjecture. So another thing that... Um, I find that I have witnessed in my experiences is that these are some of the common things people say. Do we really know who, you know, is there a God? Do we really know where we go? Uh, do we, do we, um, uh, do we know if there's a heaven and hell? Uh, what if there's nothing? You know, they, and it's like, if you learn, if, if you learn to become a doctor or you study to uh, be a psychologist or whatever, you can't go into the trade unless you study about it. And it makes sense, the same with religion, why God has given us the brains, the eyesight, and the hearing, and yet they, you know, have, say, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Christian, I'm a Jew, I'm a Muslim. And they don't know that all these different terms are, and each one of them is worshipping something other, beside, other than God. You know, they don't know that if they went to God's scripture and studied it and asked God for guidance that when you're looking for the truth, God says if you're sincere, you will understand it. So if they do this, 
they will, you know, God will show them and guide them to the truth and they will see that, hey, there's contradiction here. This is, this is not right. They will learn. And because God doesn't bless them with that vision or guidance because they don't learn. They don't want to learn, you know. And who wants somebody in a hospital that is going to do heart surgery or brain surgery if you're not going to study and be the best you can be? Why would somebody want you working in a hospital with them, uh, next to them in, in this field, if, if you don't uh, study? So, so and another area of it is they end up following their parents blindly and worshipping idols uh, next to God. And what if your parents are not guided? Uh, society. Society is what... Uh, uh, people, they let society dictate to them. They let society say, okay, this is what the norm is. The norm is that you, because every, no, you grew up following your parents, worshipping Jesus. This is the thing to do where you're from, where you live. Um, social pressure, friendship. Um, oh, what's wrong with you? And another common thing with me growing up too is if you turn to God, you're depressed something wrong with you you're depressed or you have are you brainwashed and you can't possibly love god or your love can go for god in certain uh cultures uh areas because you're you're psycho basically they they think that that's the last option so you're suicidal if you want to turn to god 5323 these are but names that you made up in your forefathers. God never ordered such a blasphemy. They follow conjecture and personal desire. When the true guidance has come to them here in further, Lord. 55, 28. They had no knowledge about this. They only conjectured. Conjecture is no substitute from the truth. Um, okay. So it's it's... It's again, you know, uh, the blindness, uh, not of the eyes. Um, it's God will give us what we deserve um, and what we choose in this world because we want a free choice. What are some of the things people say about God? Um, some more things. And how stupid it sounds. Um, the earth is flat. Um, ridiculous uh, thing to say. Um, uh, women decide the baby gender. In certain cultures, um, they're told, "Give him, give him a boy." You know, um, you, you, oh, you only have girls. Um, so they think the women decide the gender, and we know now from Quran that it is the man that decides the gender of the baby. Um, superstitions. Uh, don't walk under that ladder. You'll have seven years bad luck. Um, don't let a mirror fall and crack. You'll get seven years bad luck. Um, all these things that they, you know, superstitions that are really wrong. Um, Jesus is God. Saint Muhammad will save us from hell, um, and we'll only have to suffer the number of sins that we on un- that we committed and then will be admitted into heaven. Uh, comparing women to dogs, uh, women and dogs are the same. Um, you can, uh, we've, we've had this one, which is pretty bad. You can suffer through misery in your life, you know, and have all sorts of problems. And, um, you know, all these things, which are really wrong because, and I know somebody, I can't remember who, but in one of the speeches, somebody said, you know, you, 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 there is a dis, there is, you have to separate God's kingdom from Satan's kingdom, and there is a distinction, and this is really important. Um, so, people mislead others when they talk about God without knowledge. Uh, 6119. Why should you not eat from that upon which God's name has not been mentioned? He has detailed for you what is prohibited for you, unless you are forced. Indeed, many people mislead others with their personal opinions without knowledge. Your Lord is fully aware thereof. And um, mentioning before that, I didn't mention. So, like, people, when they, you know, they, 
they don't like they I remember when I first became a submitter, I had somebody that says, Oh, you read the Quran. Okay, so you can eat this, you can eat that, you don't eat this. And I remember I read because I know in the verses only four, you know, um thing God tells us to stay away from. And this guy was traditional Muslim, uh Shia, I think, and he named like I lost count of how many things that I should stay away from because um in a minute mile that I should stay away from um because oh now you know he thought I was uh, following the correct um Islam which was um very wrong because we know now that we have the truth submission and there is no Shia Sunnah or any of this. We follow the Quran, we follow what God says and through the teachings of the Messenger, which is mashallah um everything that was explained to us uh, from Quran, praise God. So when people um, don't follow God, you're basically following Satan. Um, and Satan was rebellious. Um, he was uh, banished and uh, egotistic. And we, you know, a lot of people on this earth, there are people that can be worse than Satan. And he wants to get us on the straight path and get us away from God and to do, he said this to God, I will stunt for them on the straight path. I will come from them from their right, from behind them, from their left, um, and in front of them, and you will find each one of them on the face of it. Um, so it's, it's very important. We watch out. We be careful. And um, we make sure that we do everything we can um, to not let Satan get us. Because when he comes at you and he wants you, if you're not with God, he'll get you good. And it's it's very important that our guard has to be up um, and we have to be worshipping God. That's how we put our guard up. We we have to worship God, um, make God our God most of the day, um, try to do everything right in our life, fix ourselves, whatever's wrong, fix ourselves. Um, such a bad thing to do, unfortunately, and it's a common occurrence is all of these things that I mentioned, but um, not uh, doing what we what we say. Make sure that when we uh, preach to other people, we at least say, "Hey, this is a reminder for myself too." Or um, you know, we are make sure we do it in ourselves and not talk about. God without knowledge and not exhort one another to uphold the scripture when you yourselves don't follow it. Um, because if you speak about God without knowledge, um, you'll be sent astray. Because our decision that we have to make in this life is to choose God or to choose Satan. And you have a big responsibility when you talk about God without knowledge. And all these people in the world that are blindly following each other, or their culture, their, their parents, uh, their friends, whatever, all these people, they have a huge responsibility and they, they have that burden of the information that they're spreading out there to other people and they have that responsibility. Um, and then, but even ourselves, you know, mashallah, a submitter, a person who believes in God will never do this, right? So all these people, they end up putting themselves into more harm than good. And because they're so deep in that, um, unless they really, really sincerely seek God, they're putting themselves um, in harm's way. So 31.16, among the people, there are those who uphold baseless hadith and thus divert others from the path of God without knowledge and take it in vain, leaving cure to shameful retribution. Uh, be careful too, you don't repel. I have two listeners from my mouth. Um, be careful you don't repel other people from the path. Um, so I just want to say this. Um, how should believers respond to people when we see this? We should be truthful. We should correct them. We should remind them. We should give them proof. We should speak to them in the best possible manner. Okay? Um, we should... Sorry. <laughs> Long hair. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so speak in the best possible manner, manner, correct them, don't be shy. 
And even if somebody, you know, you, you might feel shy, don't be shy because it's a good thing to remind them. It's a good thing to be truthful. Give them proof, tell them, invite them to the path if you can. Um, so I'll end with this. So we, we um, have to be the best example um, that we can to set for others. Um, we have to make sure that whatever we do give advice to others, that we have to be on our way or really trying hard to, to fix ourselves. And when we fix ourselves and we do things to, to um, set that example, um, uh, God willing, and um, do that, it will show in us. It will, it will show in us and um, God will eventually give you that, uh, what's the word, the mark that God says because we are setting the best example. So go um, go and spread the message, be the example you want to be, and remind people when you hear this because you hear